I've cut a lot of dovetails lately. Nomad makes. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're looking at pull saws. So I've got four saws here today. And I think my experiences with these saws are going to surprise you a little bit. Look, I am Nomad makes. Right, so the first contestant up is the Luna Professional Pulso 265. They don't state the TPI per the, for this saw, but it's quite tight and it, to me it feels like a little bit of an aggressive saw. I'll show you some shots of me using it here. Now this saw was sent to me by Luna. Well, it is an excellent saw. If you're cutting very fine joints, in my opinion, this saw is too aggressive. So to be honest, I don't really know what they intended this saw for. Probably it's a little bit more carpentry or at least a little bit of a larger scale than what I was doing. Then we have the Luna Tenon 350. This is a 13 TPI saw. It's your run of the mill tendoning saw. This one I purchased myself and it's not as aggressive as the 265. And we have this little guy. So this is the Gyokuchi S290 and it's a fantastic little saw. It has this bend here in the front that you know makes it possible to start sawing on top of uh, a surface and it has a quite fine tooth set. Whenever I can use this saw to solve whatever problem I have to be honest this is the first saw I always reach for. And they're ridiculously cheap. You can get replacement blades for them. To be honest, the blade is like 90% of the cost of the saw, so that's a little bit sad. But the only downside to this saw is the, the ridge here, or the spine of the saw. Of course, it's excellent, but you know it, it restricts uh, the, the depth of cut you can have. This is my Gyokuchi S605. I've been using it a lot lately. <laughs> now this saw, it has both a cross cut and a rip cut side. You can replace the blades on them and they are available as well. This is also a dirt cheap saw. And for what you pay for this saw, you know, it's excellent. And when you compare it to the, the S290, this one, of course, since it doesn't have a spine, it has, there's nothing restricting the depth of cut with this saw. And especially it's good for use with magnetic guides and such. Now it's time for the small razor saw. I really love this saw, it's fantastic. It's 
So like certain tools overperform with regards to their price, and that is one of the few tools that does that. And that begs the question now, if I could only choose one of these saws, which would it, would it be? Would it be the Luna Pulsar 265? Would it be the Tenon 350? Would it be the Gyokuchi S290? No, beyond a shadow of a doubt, if I could only have one of these saws, it would be the Gyokuchi S650. Now you can use this for so many things. It is a fine woodworking saw in many ways. By that I mean that it's you use it for smaller things, but you can also use it for a little bit of rougher work. But it's not a carpentry tool, right? And for the price you pay for this, the quality is just astounding. Now I use these two saws all the time. I hardly use these saws even though I had them for uh, one or two years. It's not because these saws are bad. They are excellent saws. It's just that the set of the teeth are too rough for the kind of work that I'm doing. And especially now with these, uh, these dovetails I'm cutting and stuff like that. I'm sure that these two saws have their place and especially, you know, a, a tendoning saw is something that you see people using a lot. But for my use, and the kind of woodworking that I do, small furniture, or these saws, hands down. And if I could only choose one, it would be this. And the value for money you get for this saw is just beyond anything I've experienced in woodworking, to be honest. So yeah, guys, I hope you found that video helpful. And if you want to see more of how I make these drawers, make sure to subscribe. But again, that is it for today, guys. I would like to thank my first ever patron, Mongi Sisla. He has a great Instagram profile, so go check him out. And join us over at Patreon, should you want to support me as well. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. You'll find a Patreon link and affiliate links to products I use and recommend below. Cheers, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.